Hello everybody, welcome to this lecture that tells you how to get, uh, how to obtain the examples uh, that we are using during the course uh, Advanced Programming Scientific Computing. Uh, first of all, uh, you need to have an account uh, on GitHub because uh, the, uh, all the examples are kept on a GitHub repository and uh, to be able to download it, uh, to clone it, uh, you need to be somehow registered to GitHub. So what you have to do is first of all to look for GitHub, that is uh, going to github.com and uh, just uh, if you are not already registered, uh, register, okay? So you can pick a username, give an email, a password, and uh, eventually sign in. If you have uh, registered to GitHub, eventually you may look uh, for searching, uh, let's go, uh, you search a um, repo that is called Pax Examples. After you search for Pax Examples, you will end up uh, on this page and uh, you have the instruction on how to download the repo. You can use two protocols, SSH or HTTPS. In uh, your case, uh, since uh, you are not uh, supposed to interact uh, too much with the repo apart uh, uh, of course, uh, downloading all uh, all changes, uh, all updates. Uh, I will suggest you to use uh, HTTPS as protocol. Personally, uh, if you have, uh, however, stored in your Git repo the SSH key, uh, personally, I will suggest you then to use uh, SSH as a protocol. So now the the common is the same, the only thing that changes uh, is uh, the way you write the address of the repo. Okay, so this uh, is the address with HTTPS and this is the address using SSH. So let's now select SSH. You go into a directory in your computer where you want to download the repository and you just do git clone and I will suggest to you to add also the option recursive because we have submodules in this case in this way you will get the submodules as well automatically and then the name you have to wait a little If you clone with HTTPS, uh, you'd better load the submodules afterward. I will tell, tell you how to do it, okay? Uh, then you go in the directory packs examples, uh, where you find uh, a few things. Uh, in particular, you find a readme file, read it. There are a lot of instructions, some even more than the one that I'm going to give you to you now. There is a directory called extras. So let's have a look. In the directory extras, you have, uh, uh, well, a few extra stuff. In particular, if you have loaded the submodule, you will find also the directory of MooParser and MooParserX that we are going to use it in some uh, lectures because these are uh, parsers uh, that can be useful uh, if you want uh, to uh, specify um, functions uh, runtime. Okay, we're going to see in, an, in some examples of the use of the parser. You have the guide for Vagrant, if you use Vagrant, if you use our um, virtual machine. Hmm? 
and uh, you find some other stuff that are mainly books um, and uh, some information on the past students that I'm gonna I'm gonna delete soon okay and uh, the some lectures of uh, that are quite nice but rather sophisticated uh, on the C++ metaprogramming so you find some excels that the name of the directory mm -hmm. Uh, then you find the directory with the exercises subdivided by years. You will find uh, 2018 uh, very soon. And uh, eventually also the, exam the uh, example. Now, in the example, uh, once you go there, what is the third thing you have to do? if you want to use the example. The first thing you have to do is to create a file that is called makefile.inc. And it's very simple because what you have to do is to use a template makefile.user and copy it into makefile.inc. So you make a copy and then what you have to do, you have to edit and uh, in fact, uh, you have to do only one thing. You have to change this, okay? Pax root. You have to change this. What is Pax root? Is exactly the directory where these uh, makefile.inc re resides. So you can just do print working directory if you want. This is the directory. You put it here and you are done. Save, make file dot ink. And you can also close. Okay? Makefile.ink contains all a lot of other, uh, other stuff that you can change. All the make files in the example will include makefile.ink. So any changes in makefile.ink is reflected everywhere. For instance, you may change the compiler you want to use. Uh, I haven't had a look at uh, what we are, uh, we are using here. We are using G++, but if you want, you can use Clang or the compiler that uh, is in the module that is a G++, so no need. Uh, but you can change also other, other directory. Uh, another uh, important thing, you need to have the module with Agen and you need to add the directory. Uh, normally, if you use our modules, uh, the environmental variable make again inc contains the information you need, so you don't have to change anything. I've also made, uh, uh, just for you, uh, an utility in Pax example called install modules that you Sorry, this is for the submodule. Um, load modules, sorry. Okay, load modules, remember. This is the utility you need to use uh, to load the main modules that we are using for the examples. Okay, so by launching this little script that you have to launch with the common source or by putting a dot before the name uh, by loading this you will load all the modules that are needed for your examples okay good then let's look uh, the first thing you have to do in the examples uh, that is also useful to check if uh, everything is going fine. You see, in the example, there is also a directory called include, a directory called lib, and a directory called bean. 
Now, in the directory, uh, we're not using very much of the directory bin, but we're using quite a lot of the directory include and lib. In the directory include, uh, you will, f uh, when you, when you do make install in any of the examples, the header file will be transferred into the directory include and will be available to all other examples. Now, there are some examples that uh, where make, it, make install is needed because their header file are indeed used by other examples. It's normally indicated in the readme file that you find in the directory of the example. Lib is the directory where libraries, if we produce libraries, will make install, will install them here. And the source of all the examples is here. So you see, you have many. We are not going to look through all of them, not even at lecture. Uh, but the first thing you have to do also to check that everything is fine is go to utilities. Because utility contains quite a few utilities, as the name says, that are used by uh, several examples. So the first thing is to try to do make here and then make install. Now, make, you just do make. If you want to compile any example with the maximum optimization, you also have to indicate the bug equal no. Because otherwise, by default, you have the debugger and no optimization. Okay? Now, for these uh, uh, utilities, it's not really much uh, necessary optimization, but since uh, just we give it a try, now you have uh, compiled a few executable and uh, also some libraries. Now, in particular, libpacks.sa. Now, if you want uh, to uh, install it for all the other examples, you do make install. Now, if you are if you are curious, you will find that the directory lib contains the library, and that the directory include include now some other files taken from the utility directory. Well, I think that that is the most thing you have to do. Then uh, uh, the most important things you have to do. Then, uh, of course, you have uh, many other examples, and you can uh, you are free to look around. And uh, some uh, will be explained, of course, uh, during lecture. Thank you.